has been a little over a month since THC products became legal to buy and sell in Minnesota, and cities have been left grappling with how to regulate the sale to keep the products away from kids. Well, now some cities are partnering with area school boards to come up with a plan. ABC 6 News reporter Alex Cotter was at the school board meeting tonight in Albert Lee. The city presented some ideas there as they worked together to try to come up with a plan. Alex, tell us about what was presented. Yeah, James and Laura, at today's meeting, the city says that it plans to regulate THC products just like it does tobacco products. That means to buy or possess, you need to be 21 and have a valid ID. And for those selling it, you need to take proper safety measures so you're not marketing to underage kids, as well as keep the products locked and or away from people to easily get to them. Albert Lee's city manager saying that the point of tonight's presentation was to get feedback from the school board and the public. With something as big as this, uh, this big of a change, that getting their input is, I think, very vital. The same as getting input from the public and, and retailers and everyone else is, is vital to us crafting a uh, very well-drafted ordinance that can be enforced and be effective. These regulations would directly affect local business owner Jerry Collins, who sells CBD and THC products. He also has kids in the school district. We're happy that the city is soliciting uh, feedback from uh, parties like, you know, like us here at Big Dream Organics and from other community members that have a vested interest. The city said its biggest concern is keeping these new products away from kids and out of area schools. Their brains are still developing at that age, and so it is very important to uh, keep from or reduce the amount that they are in contact with. Collins says his store is dedicated to safe use and education of the products. Uh, we only sell to people that are uh, 21 or older. Uh, we do have child resistant packaging and we don't have packaging that is, uh, that is made to appear as though it's being marketed towards people under the age. What, is, what it says on the label is actually what's in them. We want good, clean, safe products for our community. The city said that the feedback from tonight's meeting will be taken into consideration. Albert Lee has a goal to have an ordinance in place by the end of October. And actually just to the east in Austin, according to Councilman uh, Jason Baskin, he said that the Austin City Council uh, put in and passed uh, some, regulatory frame, some regulatory framework to, uh, for, for those THC products in the city of Austin. So uh, one city over here is... Uh, is moving along. Albert Lee should be uh, next in line. James, Laura.